The boyfriend who's driving gets to the end of the road and he says, I'm going back and get her. She's going with me. Howdy, y'all. Hunky T here. This here's a, uh, a case of a felony break-in and it uh, turned out not too good for the guy breaking in. Uh, but there's extenuating circumstances in this in this particular episode. So this happened about two months ago uh, down here in Florida. So uh, I want you all to look at this and see what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear from you what you think about the situation and uh, we'll see. Hey everyone, I'm here to update you about a shooting that occurred just prior to 640 this morning. And here's how it all began. Two couples, four people, went out for the evening last night and they returned home at about 4 a.m. this morning. When I say return home, one person of the four lives at this residence. So the two males and two females arrive at this particular residence and after some period of time an argument occurs between a girlfriend and a boyfriend and it becomes a very heated argument. So the two ladies are at the victim's house. The two guys have now departed, they've left. The boyfriend who's driving gets to the end of the road and he says, I'm going back and get her. She's going with me. So he turns around and he comes back to the house. Now the friend that's with him, who's not been drinking, says, hey, let's just leave, let's just go. So he says, no, she's going with me. So he arrives at the residence and he begins kicking and banging on the front door, demanding that his girlfriend come outside. No one answers the door. He immediately runs back to his vehicle and gets a tire iron. The friend is telling him again, let's just leave. He does it. He takes the tire iron, he runs up to the house to a window, it appears to be a bedroom window, and he screams and hollers, if you don't let me in, I'm knocking the windows out and coming in. There's no response. He takes the tire iron, he begins to break into the home. He tears through the screen, he breaks the glass with the tire iron, and the homeowner shoots and there's where he dies. All of the information we give you this morning is preliminary information and certainly it's subject to change as the investigation continues throughout the day. However, at this early stage of the investigation, it appears that the shooter was perfectly le legal, the shooter was perfectly legal to defend her home from a burglar. This is another instance where you just should have left. But when you came back to the house that's not your home and you tried to break in to get a girlfriend who didn't want to go with you and you're shot and killed while breaking into the house with a tire iron, that's a bad choice. And it's the last bad choice he'll make. And it's pretty clear cut. What they said at this point matches up exactly to what we see at the crime scene where he was committing a forcible felony by trying to break back into this house with a tire iron. But once again, you can't break into people's homes. But you, you had can. the right to protect yourself in your home and to be free from home invaders, armed burglars, and certainly he was armed with a tire iron and making an attempt to come into the window. She stopped him. She stopped him permanently. Oh, there you go, my friends. I, I think that was a bit of a high price to pay for being a drunk and, and losing your head for a couple minutes. Uh, I don't know how much y'all think about that, but I'd love to hear you. Let me know what you think about that particular case that just happened a couple of months ago so anyways y'all have a blessed day take care of yourself you take care of each other and we'll see you soon bye for now